What's going on guys, Biggs with Custom Offsets. I have a new style video for you today. We are doing favorite trucks from the gallery. So it's gonna be kind of like first trucks where I pull in a few people and they go over their favorite trucks from the gallery. If you don't know, we have a huge gallery of thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of trucks uh, that you can check your fitment and see what fits on your truck. That is at customoffsets.com forward slash gallery. All right, first up, we have my buddy Lawson and Lawson, Picked a pretty wild one. Yeah, this thing's insane. I don't think there's any surprise to me picking a 17 to 19 Super Duty because I want one really bad. But it's a 2018 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Uh, it's sitting on American Force Vantage 30 by 16s with a 101 offset. Uh, Fury Off-Road Country Hunter MTs and a 42, 15 and a half. Got a Chaotic Concepts lifted 12 plus inches. Shot by my buddy a Deep South Media, 22 inch custom one-off Chaotic Concepts uh, faceplate series lift. Four length front and rear with coilovers and triple bypass front and back. No rubbing or scrubbing, no trimming. Obviously it's huge. He also went with the two inch spacers, which it's already 16 wides. Then to add two inch spacers, this thing is just insane. His mods take up a full page. Like he just has literally everything done from the hitch to the spike lugs, to the bumpers, to the steps, to the, you know, the wrap, the light, Lights, the tint. I mean, it's just yeah. You can Tunes, go on and on yeah. and on. The exhaust, Tunes the tuner. Deleted, it's everything. got literally everything done. If we take a look at some photos, and like I honestly really, really dig the colorway. It's like camel, but it's like subtle camo. Yeah. And then like the suspension is just black. It almost has like a blue hint to it. And then it also has like all the, the chrome plating and everything to really keep everything clean. It's not over the top. It's just overall it's just super, massive. super clean. Yeah, it's, it's massive. massive. It's super clean and literally every aspect of this truck has been done and, and it's platinum. I mean, there's just, how can you not look at that? And just, yeah, uh, for me, I, I agree with that. I really do like this uh, body style of Super Duties. It's one of those things like when you go this big, you don't have to, you know, have that crazy paint job, have that crazy powder coat. That's what I like about trucks of this style and when they go big, the really sleek and subtle ones because you know, you could easily toss some like crazy colored powder on that and for what this is, like, it's super nice. Fucking sick, man. I want it. I'm actually, I haven't seen any of these trucks, so when I pull them in, I really don't know what I'm about to see. So it could be good, it could be bad. So uh, I'm gonna rate them. And I think, I think you should do the countdown. You, you already know what you're gonna say? You good? Yep. You've seen enough? Yep, I've seen everything that I need to see. Three, two, one. 9.999. Nine. .9 .9 .9 .9. We're gonna pull some. So you're open. saying I was the first one up and I already nailed it at the very highest rating. Yeah, pretty close. What? Fucking go, baby. <laughs> All right, next up on the list, we brought in Hunter. And Hunter is, again, my middle school buddy. We didn't go to the same middle school, but we went to the same high school. Uh, we just got back from recess. And Hunter picked a 1997 Ford F250 on LRG10324. 22 14s, excuse me, and a negative 76 offset. I've never heard of that wheel in my life. And the Cooper Discover S, here we go, lisp alert, STT Pro 35 12 and a half. So Tuesday will be changed to pizza to Thursday. On a rough country suspension lift of four inches. Let's see, let's see some details. So for details, he's done injectors, turbo, built trans, uh, all the supporting mods to that. Uh, he does have two inch wheel spacers in the rear. I am looking at this. Why is this your favorite truck from the gallery? Uh, because one, it's an OBS 7.3 power stroke, which we both want. So yep. obviously I had to go that route. Uh, it was between that and um, I actually had three different options. I either wanted to do a 7.3, a 6.0, or a newer 6.7. So like 17 and up, but. So you definitely want a Super Duty of some sort. Basically, yeah. So I don't, something about the OBS look is just amazing to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, but shout out to Ross. I mean, I follow him on IG, uh, Ford underscore Power Stroke, if you want to follow him. Uh, I don't believe that he has this truck anymore. He's got a, clean as hell 6.0 that desperately wants me to or making me want to buy another one yeah but uh he is sure. from wisconsin um but yeah something about it i mean just scrolling through the pictures obviously he's got that dark ass tint going on um track bars are wild as hell so 
I don't know, if I saw it in person, I would definitely uh, drool over it, so. Fair enough. Okay, so I've seen enough. Uh, Huntator kind of went over this and told us what he likes, and he's gonna count down, and I'm gonna rate this thing. Ready? Go, go for it. Three, two, one. Seven. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, I rated this a seven because I'm not a huge fan of the single cab. That's really killing it for me. I I do like everything about this truck, but if it was the longer drawn out, you know, bigger, longer truck, I think it would, you know, fit my style a little more. But for everything that's done to it, if you did this to a bigger truck, I think this yeah. would look a lot better. That's Are the you only talking thing? like extended cab? Yeah, like- So you took three points off just because it's a single cab, not an extended cab. Yeah, and I know that you like the track bars. I really don't. I think it looks like a telephone tower to me. Um, not a huge fan. They look painted white to me. I don't know if that's the case. So in this picture, they look white, but they are chrome. So that is a lot better for me uh, because it kind of, you know, ties those mirrors in with that. And then the chrome accents on the front grill area. So, that's but yeah, that's, that's what I got to say. You know, even looking at the pictures too, obviously this is like when it's at its prime, yeah. like when it's completely done. But then when you go through it, you can see kind of like the stages. Yeah, that's cool too. So it's cool to see the Amona work that went into it. Um, yeah, I mean, basically it's just, it's my dream body style truck, but just like you said, I would like an extended cab if yeah. I were to get an OBS, but yeah. even if I could find a clean single cab, it would be right. amazing. Yeah, I mean, if you can find anything clean in this generation, this body style, single cab, extended cab, anything, scoop that thing up because exactly. they're hot right now. So. Oh yeah, and they look amazing. All right. That's Huntator's truck. All right, now we have Junior. Junior picked a 2005 Ford Excursion on American Force Genesis's in a 30 by 16, a, a whopping negative 112 offset. And this is rocking the Fury Off-Road Country Hunter MTs in a 42, 16 and a half. I think that's like the, like one of the only trucks running a 42 because these came out at SEMA two years ago, I think it was, but they're only obviously 42s for a 30. And how many people are running 30s out there? Not that many, obviously there's more, but he was like one of the, if not the first person running those brand new tires at the time. And then it's a Davis off-road lift, but it's like a little bit of everything, I'm pretty sure, because look at how custom fabbed it is. And it's greater than 12 inches because it's 9 million inches. Yeah, this thing is huge. So for details, obviously he could have probably put a full page on details, but he- well, The big one here is the, yeah. the swap, and that's one of my favorite parts of it. So it's an 05, right? Um, it's got a 2016 F250 interior and exterior conversion. So the front yeah. end is pretty easy. It's the fenders, the hood, the grill, headlights, and then obviously the bumper, he's got an aftermarket one anyways. And then the interior too, which it's funny because I'm sure he swapped it to that and then customized all of it. Because if you look at the interior on this thing, it's got like custom like yeah, seats stitch and seats and everything like that. He's got like an air ride controller. The whole thing or is, is, is that an air ride controller or is that literally a safe? That's like a, oh, it's yep, a console right. safe. Yep, you rat. Yeah. Full four linked. It's got, so uh, Lady Luck is the like nickname for the truck. So it's got like a, a skeleton hand holding um, all the aces of a card deck. Thing I, th I think I so think I've well seen this. You got? Did you guys shoot this at SEMA? Yeah, we shot it. So he's been at SEMA a couple of times. It was black at one point, and then he wrapped it white. But then he had like uh, the words and decals and stuff underneath it. So when he wrapped over it, it was like embossed kind of. Oh, like, that's so kind of like, cool. Super low key. Yeah, super dope. Mason Poston, our buddy uh, from down in South Carolina, shot a lot of these photos. The thing is just a beast. And the Genesis is at the time a brand new yeah. uh, concave series through American Force. Just super clean truck overall. I, I love know. that shot it's, right there. It's huge. The thing is ginormous. Yeah, obviously pictures are never going to do this thing justice. Um, but just knowing that it's on 30 by 16s can probably tell you quite a bit. And then wrapped in a 42 inch tire. Yep. I mean, I just know what trucks around here running 40s look like. And I think those are big. So like... 42s with 30s is insane. Yeah, this thing is... Massive. Do you see the sound system in this thing too? Yeah, the sound system's insane. Literally everything about this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It looks like twelve. Are those ten inch, twelve inch? I don't know. Twelve subwoofers of yeah, some kind. Yeah. Behind the back seat, it's just nuts. The thing is so well thought out, and just everything on it is just immaculate. Yeah, that's like the craziest thing, cause like even looking for like doing a truck build for myself, like it's simple. But then you look at these people in 
you the amount of things that you don't even realize that you could do is just crazy to me like wheel size and suspension you can go and do that that's easy but to go and four length yeah. it with custom fab stuff make it as big as you want it to be with custom powder coated pieces. literally everything you're taking the wheels tires and suspension and making that custom and that's that's the crazy part to me yep. it's insane the best part too he used to have a bronco build as well that looks like your old one kind of in a way kinda, but nicer here's the oh, power again. yeah on horses, so actually way nicer than mine. But hey, yeah, this thing's dope. This is one of my favorites, and I don't know. It's just kind of it's it's huge. Like just as far as the truck goes, it's obviously a giant SUV. So like that alone makes it yeah. gigantic. And then every panel, everything's been like retouched, redone, reworked on it. And it's just I I like it a lot. And yeah, yeah, that's a good point too. Like these trucks or SUVs, I should say, stock, like just sitting stock, are massive. Yeah, like it's a big SUV, and then it's. So to put over 12 inches in the air, it's like... It, yeah. I'm yeah. curious to see how it drives. Like, is it sketchy down the road, or is it, like, smooth? I mean, it's it's got a decently wide wheelbase. I'm assuming yeah. it's okay. It's like I a don't... giant bus. Like, if you look yeah. at a bus and drove it down the road. Yeah. Thing's insane. But yeah, that's... So you're going to count me down, and I'll rate it. 10, 9, 3, 2, 1. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know when he was gonna go. Do it. Are you gonna rate it or not? Uh, I'm rating this a nine point seven five. Seven five. Let's go. Nine point seven five. It is okay. Yeah, um, I actually like that rating nine point seven five. Um, just because it's literally perfect. It could be a ten. It. You I just, just refuse to give ten. Yes, and I I literally previously it's stated like that. Yeah, I previously stated that like two minutes ago, like in this video, that I just won't give anything a ten. I just a I, ten. A ten. Um, I just it's an SUV. It's not my thing. Um, but it's perfect for people that like to do that. Okay, that's what we have for you on today's video if you have a favorite truck in the gallery uh drop it down in the comments below also i forgot to mention we are doing another giveaway customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway pick up a t-shirt and for that that's it that's all i got peace, peace.